Hi everyone, it is Evie with Moonlight Artistry. I am back for a second video today with leftover paint from my last one. Um, I'm going to do a record, but I'm going to do not a spin. I'm going to do a different type um, of pour on it. I just thought it would be good to do a record because I've mixed up these paints a little thinner. That I normally do and a record's a pretty good idea for something like that so I haven't cleaned up my tray since then or I've hand whatever you want to call it um, but this is a good bit thinner than I normally do however my white is still good and thick pretty thick actually a little thicker but that's left over from my last pour so that's why it's thicker um, because I did a string pull, which is actually drying very nicely. I'm not running anywhere. It looks like it's drying flat. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so what I'm going to do, first of all, let me go over. Um, I use a dishwasher pan to paint in. Um, the silicone, and you can get those on Amazon for about $16, I think is what I paid for it. I use silicone that is in the argon oil of morocco by ogx i like that the best some people use a coconut milk by ogx some people use ky lubricant some people use um wd-40 some people use spot-on treadmill lubricant all of those are 100 percent silicone and work fine for different types of cells this is just what i prefer personally um so anyway all of my colors have silicone in it this is a self mix purple, um, Payne's Gray by Arteza, Cobalt Blue by Arteza. This is Folk Art Calypso Sky because I can't find this color exactly in another paint. There are some close to it in Liquitex Basics, but it's not that exact same color. And I have Titanium White in uh, from Liquitex Basics. I use a $20 heat gun instead of um, a torch because I feel like you can get closer to the paint and use it longer than if you are going to use a torch because this just directs a little more heat also in one spot. I found that the heat gun kind of spreads out more so you're not heating it as long. Um, my pouring medium, which I mix up in these bottles, is 16 ounces of Elmer's school glue not glue all eight ounces of deco art pouring medium and eight ounces of water i'm sorry if i sound kind of confusing today or like i'm a little confused i'm in a bit of pain i have a migraine um along with other stuff so trying to power through and do something i like just to keep me from thinking about record swipe from my second video this is it i think it turned out great um the colors are great cells turned out great um i do plan on doing something like that again just not today today we're going to do an actual pour i'm going to do a flip cup and i'm going to drag it but i'm not going to make the entire thing white first at least i'm not plant planning on that um i still might though you never know with me actually i think i am going to put white all over the can on the all over the vinyl first and then i'll do a flip cup so I'm going to get started with that, start pouring directly in the middle, that should be enough white, let's see what happens. It's kind of boring part. but. What can I say? It's all part of it. At least I don't mix up the paint on camera. I will do a paint mixing video eventually, um, as well as pour medium mixing video, but just not today. And the paint can take several minutes to mix, so that's why I do it off camera because, oh shoot, I forgot my gloves. Because, well, it's boring, and you're watching me just paint so I have to come up with stories to tell while I'm trying to mix up paint or you're watching me just mix up paint see I'm just really having trouble keeping my brain together today um, 
because my brain hurts. But I like to paint. It's a stress reliever. Always helps me. Put a little bit more paint in the center so I can push it out a little bit further. Um, so today, like I said before, feeling a little under the weather, if you can call it that. I do have a gallery spot in a place downtown Savannah which is where I'm coming from, coming to you from is Savannah, Georgia. We are a crisp 55 today, and I know that it's November. However, we still don't get used to cold days because we're used to it being hot. Just Thursday, I guess, it was like 80 or something. So... We also don't get used to it being cold for very long. It's nothing to not need a jacket at Christmas. So that's something we get kind of used to. I'll go ahead and heat it. Get rid of these air bubbles. Created more air bubbles, getting rid of that air bubble. sides. I didn't quite get the paint all the way to the edge in this spot. I'll try to just pull it. There we go. I always do that when I can because it kind of pulls the air bubbles up. And if you see a cloud come through, that's just me vaping because I like to vape while I'm painting. I do vape. It's just nicotine today, I promise. So, I'm going to do a little cup. I'm going to pour it gonna do layers um, I think I want my <laughs> that's literally doing nothing I think I'm gonna make my bottom color gray and these cups look like junk because I put a glove on over it so I could save it I could put it in a little to-go cup like I do sometimes but I have a bad habit of saving even the last little bit and then it comes out really cruddy in the end and then I have to do self mixes like I did. I think I'm going to do a little white. My dog feels like she's protecting us again. There is, as I've mentioned in other videos, there is a bird called a snake bird that my dog likes to really, she really gets offended by this snake bird when it comes around. Not offended, she really gets threatened by this bird. And it's called a snake bird because when it's swimming, it's a waterfowl. However, it also can fly a lot like a vulture. Um, when it is swimming, all you see above oh that was lovely not even where I wanted it to go great Let's see if we can pull that back somewhat we'll see what happens oh I got paint all over me and all over my paint jar that I put my white in so they are not pretty birds at all Not at all. In fact, they are ugly. All you see is its neck and head. And they hiss a lot. 
And there's a female that's built to nest in the oak tree on the side yard right by a, a, a little cove we have. That is a lot of paint. That's all right. And she, see this is more of what I was wanting. Yeah. She feels very threatened by this. Oh, God, I'm having to waste so much paint. So much paint. Jesus. She is quite threatened by this bird, or at least she hates the bird, if nothing else. And so... She has the need to protect us, I guess. these lines on the side so I think I'm gonna blow them out with a straw I have a nice little paper straw that has lasted me forever because I can't find the other ones better. I like that. Now, I'm going to try to tilt it like that. If you try to tilt slow, you tend to have better results, especially with cells that not stretching them too bad. I'm liking that. This may be a quick and easy video. want to pour off this side but I'm not sure I'm not sure what I want to do completely just not sure I'm just not sure if I want to leave it or if I want to tilt off the side. God, she's so annoying. I apologize. I'd put her inside, but then she'd just be barking at the door anyway. Hmm. Kind of really digging it. Like, even where it kind of goes off to the side and it just has the negative space on the side. Let me see if I can push this back in. Okay, that's better. Yeah, much better. Much better. 
those air bubbles out that I created. I'm really liking it now. It's much easier to move paint on records. This is uneven right here. I don't want that. I think I want it to be even on both sides. A little busy over here than that side, but there's more purple on that side. So love these colors but see I lost a lot of the blue like of the calypso sky because there's some right here there's a little tiny bit in the cells but I lost a lot of it and that was really my favorite really was but what can you do I don't know. Maybe I'll let it sit. See if more blue comes out. Mm, somewhat. Let me take you guys down for a quick. I'm kind of digging it. Focus. I shake a lot. I apologize. So there you go. Pretty pleased with it. Okay. And this is me signing off. All right. Catch you guys next time. See you on the flip side. Bye.